Hi guys, in this sample we're going to quickly cover how to use GDX AI in FXGL. So uh, you'll find this sample under samples S32, although the package name might change, but it'll say something to do with AI. Then in the behavior sample, um, well, we basically have all the normal stuff that we uh, would have in the FXGL application where you move the player and it's player control. Now in initialize game, we have two enemies and those enemies created with AI control and we pass in patrol tree file, which is the AI um, specification for an AI behavior. So we just run this. We have uh, two enemies, red and colors that uh, light golden rock yellow there you go um right so these those enemies are patrolling or essentially the behavior is guard so they are guarding whatever is in the middle and when i get too close to the middle then um they start chasing me and if they're too close then they can attack me uh those things um, that you can see in bluish rectangles, they are um, AI bubbles. So they basically tell you what the AI is doing at the moment. And the way to use um, AI, or well, libgdx AI in FXGL is to define this tree file, which you can find under assets, AI. And the one that we're using is patrol. So you'll need to create, create something like this. Um, there are some tutorials on libgdx AI, so I won't cover it in full details. What you need to do is essentially define um, either actions or conditions or other tasks or conditions. So we have attack task, which is an action, and in itself it can attack or chase. Attacking is basically if we're close to the player, um, else we chase. Then we have can see player condition, which is normal condition, just uh, returns a billion value, true or false, um, if we're close to the player, basically. So we can see the player if we're close. Then we have similar target close condition, which is just a point in the middle. This could be replaced with whatever object that you you want your guards to guard. Then we have a patrol task, which doesn't do anything because um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. They're just standing there, although this should probably be something slightly more complex. Then we have a move task, which moves um, based on the goal action. So there is a, a method that returns billion, and we need to check whether this is true or false. If it's true, then we've reached the goal and uh, we're done else do this which is basically moving towards the center so if we come back to our patrol tree file we import these essentially classes and rename them into something more readable and then we do that so ignore the root then we have our selector and sequence so this is like um an Kind of if else pretty much because if that succeeds um, then this will be executed else that will be executed so is target close if not then we move back towards the target target is again whatever the thing that the guards are patrolling around then we select uh, again so another if statement kind of if we can see the player then we attack if we cannot see the player um, and the target is close, then we simply patrol. And um, this is executed on every frame, so which means that if the target is not close, we again move back towards the target. So that is exactly what they're doing currently. So the target close, can see player attack, target close, they cannot see the player, um, or rather they can, but the target is no longer close. And currently, if they cannot see the player now, um, they're just patrolling. So you'll need 
just to get used to this kind of statements um, instead of normal coding conventions. Um, apart from that, yeah, that is pretty much just standard um, libgdx AI behavior tree file that you can use. And I'll also link the tutorial, the official tutorial that they use um, to basically introduce GDX AI. And that was it, yeah. So basically you just use AI control and um, everything else will be done for you. Thanks for watching.